Hey everybody, so welcome back to some Dragon Fable. Well, Minnerz is back and is excited because he's now finally doing the main quest line. So, the golden opportunity. Will Falk reach with Falk reach safe yet again? It's time to seek out the Black Dragon box. You've tracked it down to a Sneevel thief in the forest northeast of Falkreach. What awaits you there? Would you be able to retrieve the box? I'm going to close it because I like to do it properly. It's kind of like role playing. I'm actually re recording this video because I forgot to hit the record button. When. <laughs> yeah, it's, good. it's a good thing I realized like five minutes in. Uh, so I'll be in the hood. Follow the road. East, right, out of town and into the Sherwood Forest. There, you will find the infamous Rabin of the Hood. She knows everything about hunting Sneevels. Perhaps she can help you track down the one that has the Black Dragon box. So, what does that mean? We're off to the east. The east makes sense. So what I did last time, just a minute ago, I went to, so you can go to Rabina from this way, or if you go down, one thing I'd like to show you just in case you've ever been curious, go past here, go up here, and Valencia which we'll be coming to later, go down and go to this tree, and then click on this, it reads Lara. I have a riddle for you. If you figure it out, I'll let you buy some nice, uh, something nice from me for dragon coins. All right. I am whole, but incomplete. Yet I have no eyes. Yet I see. You can see me and see right through me. My largest part is a quarter of what I once was. What am I? And drum roll, please, because I am very slow at typing. So uh, I need one. Okay. Oh well, Skillerton. What the hell? <laughs> I was typing it and I completely forgot what I was doing. I was like, I typed in SKE and I was like, wait, what did I just press? I guess I look back at it. Is this it? Correct. As promised, I will assign you something nice. It's really powerful silver weapons. So if you need any silver weapons, they have pretty good stats. Like, you know, you have like your wisdom, endurance, dex, you know, plus nine. Quite nice. Why is it the strength here? Oh, it is a dagger. Uh, yeah, strength 10. So they have pretty good weapons and they have some good resistances. 12 fire and ice, not bad. Um... The do cost dragon coins, which is a shame, and I wish they brought out level 90 variant so I could update them. Because coming here late game is pointless. Same when I said Jing's weapons. But I, so what I did do is I did buy this. Because one, it looks very cool and it can be used as the cosmetic. And they, they are really powerful weapons. So I can use that one and get to level 17. Which will be a while, but I don't know. It's always worth it. I mean, none of the dragon coins are like real money and all, but shit. Uh, that's fine. I just realized I like it, how Wallach has his own sign. Huh. Oh, yes, yeah, so, uh, I have did watch this little cutscene because, as I said, I forgot to start recording. So I kind of lost a little bit of footage, I guess it goes there. So basically the... steve got trapped. Dropped the box and I Rabin has it. Rabin the Hood, I your service. Still for the reds give to the... Cute little cuddly woolly forest creatures. And we want the box. Oh, this park box is yours, you say? No, my precious. My precious, like, golem. Steve was ready to do, like, her boxes. Mine. It's fine. I saw the fair and square. I'll make you a deal. If you help with my quest here and not in the forest, I will let you have the box. Agreed? Say no. 
Senna, Senna. Ru oh, I was read that. <laughs> so you can do bounty hunting, which is a nice little gold farming quest for the early game. I will have Rabina as a friend. It is our quest line, so it makes sense. Let's make the forest a better place for everyone. A golden opportunity. Time is still from the rich, specifically Richard the Vile. One of the bandits did just robbed one of the King King Altian's caravans. So we have to murder a bandit. Basically, kind of a simple quest, but okay. I like how Ravina does like the same damages. Well, a little bit more than my pet. Kind of weird that. Like a little, little five damage. Terrible. Nice little healing pad. Tug to win in the corner here. Not like an Eden there. These guys are weak as shit. If you get my shield, got two of them. I know what I'll do. I'll attack him. And I'll shoot him with Rubina. And then that way they both take a little bit of damage. And then I can just nuke them. Fin maybe finish them off. Yes. Yes. That was well calculated on my behalf. Don't judge me. I am good at this game. Dark of Robber. Do the same again. Ow. 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 And... One of them survived. Go on, Poo. There you go. Go on, Rabina. Nice. Easy. Easiest quest ever. You have fought your way through the Dark Wolf Bandits. So the first hide out and recover the stolen chest for Rabina. What could she want with all this gold? As she said, give it to the cuddly woodly forest creatures. I'm guessing. Give to until it hurts. You did great taking that chest of gold from the bandits. Now we're going to give it all away. Go knock out some random forest creatures and put the gold on them. What do you think I was serious? Well, that didn't make sense. Let me go back. I don't even know what I said now. What? You didn't think I was serious? Where did you think all those monsters got gold from in the first place? I didn't know that because I'd be killing them and taking it. Can you imagine that being in like real life? What was this guy? Uh, wind 30 minus. Like, if that was real life and you were just walking down the street, minding your own business, and then someone lamped you in the face, like punched you in the head. Side of the head, really hard. Knocked you out. And then when you woke up, you had like 20 quid in your pocket. <laughs> Where did all this money come from? I mean, the guy could have just gave you the money all along. You could have said, hey, friend, here's 20 quid. Don't spend it all on drugs. And then you're like, thanks. Bit, bit, bit weird, but thanks for the money. Much appreciated. But no, the guy's like too shy to ask you if you want it to like talk to you. So he does <laughs> the best thing he can do is just knock you out. <laughs> and just ask someone else. You go you go, you're going down the street and you see like a homeless person on the side of the road and they've got like you know when they have those old plastic cups? Where you put your money in. Um, and they're just. It's empty. You occupy, you lock them, the cup is empty. And you knock them out. <laughs> just punch them around on the side of the head. Knock them out. And then when they wake up, that like cups are full of cash. They'll be like, that was weird, but it's worth getting knocked out. <laughs> Kinda weird. I mean, th this game is weird anyway. Sometimes it can be very serious. 
Especially in like book three, but in that book one, most of it is just like a piss take. <laughs> until you get until like the final 13th, which is like the last chunk of the game is quite serious, but most of it up until a lot of point is just quite silly, which I kind of love. Oh look, why is this bush, bush, bushin, bush shining? I didn't think it was going to work then. <laughs> oh look, gaining pad. Who would have guessed that was there? Me, because I've done this quest like a hundred times. I mean, I don't know if it's been maybe a hundred, but it's probably not been a hundred, but it feels like it has. I mean, I've done this quest that many times. But as a kid, this game wasn't too old when I first played it, so book two didn't exist. Uh, funnily enough, I mean, book three existed for a very long time, but that never existed when I first started playing this game. I think I started, first started playing it about 15 years ago. And the game's about 18 years old. So I started playing it quite early in its life. And I can't remember if book one was how far through book one I was. But I remember, like, because we didn't really have a computer at home. Well, we did, but my, it wasn't mine. Like, my mum earned it, and she used to do, like, school work on it. She works in a school, she's a teacher. Um, and, yeah. So, every time I got to play this game, it's when I went to my grandma's house. Rest in peace, grandma, granddad. My grandma died about three months ago. Uh, ripping pepperonis. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, that was like the only time I got to play this game. And, um, every time I went to house and played it, I ended up making a new character and deleting my old one. So I was like, I don't really want to progress this character because I haven't played it for like a month or two. So, I would just like, Make a new character every time. And the amount, the amount of times I ran this quest line and um, the Urkel keep stuff, I used to do a lot of the Urkel stuff, but I used to skip a lot of it too. And she used to do the Egg Saga, this quest line. A few bites to scratches later, you have placed all the stolen goods in the forest, one says. Now that you have accomplished your b backwards task, Go to Ramina for the Black Dragon Box. Good work. The box is yours. When you are done with the box, I could use help with a um, small special quest. I will take the box. Alright, a deal is a deal. Wow, Binna, you did a great job. You have held up your end of the deal, so you may have the box. I could just have it. Just like that. Yep, just like that. What did you expect? I don't know. There's something to so valuable. I was expecting us to have a fight. I was expecting some boss to pop up and... Not so fast, peasant. Ah, that's more like it. You. Ah, Rabina. Thank you for keeping the black hair more safe for me. I see you met my new friend. That's wonderful. Now we can kill you at the same time. Drakath, didn't you let anything the last time? Yes, I learned that you were not a fool for letting me live. This time, I'm prepared for you. Both of you. Now, I will have my bot. Right, so we kill this dick. Yeah, it's called Krakim. Krakim. It's a very weird name, my friend. I'm sorry if that offended anyone. If your name's Krakim, fuck. I'm joking. <laughs> wow. Krakim just fucked up. <laughs> Rabina, she's dead. She's dead. Look at that. Krakim just like punched the fuck out of her. Each day they go. Die well, not dead, but dying. Do you find it weird how like all the. Um, 
NPCs, companions, are like invincible. But as soon as I get murdered, I'm just dead. One HP, gone poo. Boom. Punched him right on the big toe. That probably hurt. Right on, right on the big toe. Right on the tootsies. Level 11. No, impossible. You said the word a lot. Fine. I finished both of you fools later. But the box is mine. No, mid nerd. You can't let him open the box. Fuck all. Empty? But how? Yes, empty. Give me my beautiful empty box. Already dumped out the useless thing in box. What? Where did you dump it? Steve or dump site, of course. Right on a mound of poo. Yeah, we have to go for a poo land. We are now venturing to the land of the poo. After opening the box and discovering that it was empty, the Sneaver converter dumped the contents of the box at a Sneaver dump site. Maybe Twilly knows where that is. Yay! Uh, so yeah. Well, should we do the quad falls? I was going to save the quad falls for a next video, but I feel like it would be too short. Fuck it. I'll edit most of this out. If it's boring, that is. Quad falls. The quad falls is the legendary object that, when assembled, will open a door with the teleport a hero to defeat Gananana. Find the next piece. The first piece. I can't e found near a tree to the est eft. Serious? How did you is it on the way in? So in other words, first piece can be found near a tree to the east left. Seriously? How did you miss it on the way in? On your way in. So yeah, we have to search for four pieces and we'll go to that really quick. Here's one. Yay, that was easy. Finally, they're all this easy. The second piece can be found somewhere in something's um, uh, lumber mill or whatever it is. I think it's the lumber mill. That's what I was trying to get at. Which way do you think that is? This way? Nope. This way? Definitely nope. Uh, this way. Nope. <laughs> Either way, but the one that was right. Oh, it's you. You're attacking me again. Meh. I prefer Doomwood. But causing some trouble here is almost as fun. Have you any Doom weapons? Doom weapons? Yeah, Doom weapons are the pretty good. If you are insane, demented, psychotic, and have no consequences, on moral bearing. Yeah, thank you for telling me about doom weapons. Wrong way again. Ah, copyright music. Help! They're everywhere. Monster have trapped my family in the house. Yeah, so it's probably just like a little quest. But we don't even have to complete, we can just walk away. And look, oh, we get a new skill. Um, I almost forgot. Tag on head to minus 20 boost. Which basically means that, uh, oh no, that's bonus. Boost means that they do less damage. If you get positive boost, it means that you do more. And there we go, there's the second piece. You found the quad force. I'm just gonna leave your family in this house. Hope you survive. Goodbye. Goodbye. Midnight does not give a fuck. Yes, I will abandon the quest because oh, I lost all that XP. Oh well. I wasn't already much anyway. Be gone. Right. Next piece. The third piece is near the Earth Elemental Cave. Which we saw already, it's down here. There you go. 
<laughs> you found the quad false. Yes, yeah, so it's good I didn't do this as a separate video. It would have been far too short. The final piece is located somewhere in the Sneevil box fort. I forgot about that bit. Oh no. That's gonna take ages. Oh well. I think it's quite far into the place. Copyright music, here I come. It's a good thing I skipped this quest at the start of the series, because we had to go into it anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> kind of funny, that. I mean, it's weird though, because I used to think that Arctic's Entertainment created most of their own music, and I think they do. But it's weird how this is like the only song in the game. But is there a copyrighted piece of music? Because, you know, for some reason, every time I upload a video with this song in, my videos always get copyright claimed. Not that it really matters, because at the end of the day, like, I don't really earn anything from these videos anyway. Um, but yeah. It's funny, because the channel is actually very close to monetization. Not that I'm going to get anything anyway, because I think, like, when it comes to, like, money on this channel, I'll get, like, barely anything a month, but... Hey, so it's a milestone, is it not? I can't remember, but I think all I needed was to like claim monetization now. So it used to be that you needed a thousand subscribers, but it's different now. I think it's like, um, you needed to have, um, there was some, uh, a certain amount of views per month. I think it was like, um, like 4,000 views per month or something, which I do have. I do usually get around there. Uh, but, but there's another one where like, it was like, month, no, yearly watch hours. Which I haven't got because, honestly it's because I haven't uploaded much in the last like two years. It's changing now obviously, I've been uploading a lot of videos recently, but yeah. Not that I really need to tell anyone about that because at the end of the day it's not really gonna bother you in any way, so yeah. Just small talk, I guess. I like how when Rabina gets hit, she does like the little tea bag. <laughs> Funny to me, I don't know why. Anyone else find that weird? Kinda of funny. Kinda of a bit of a lol. Watch. 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 But <laughs> there we go, the last piece. You found the quad farm. I'm gonna finish the quest because I don't really want to lose this junk of XP. So yeah. yeah, we're almost finished anyway. It's like three enemies. All right, so I'm all done. So quad falls. Um, red ball gananana. That's it. <laughs> Defeat gananana battle. He'll run away. <laughs> There he is. What's this guy like then? Ice man is 17, water man is 50. I don't have either of those, so. Fine, we have Sedgings. Sedgings is awesome. Oh, am I an idiot? I think I'm an idiot. I forgot that Sedgings was energy. Apparently, I don't know why. Uh, it's like I saw the weaknesses and was like, oh yeah, this will be fine. This is actually really bad because. The end weapon I've got is this. And it's weak now. Oh well, it'll have to do. This guy ain't too bad anyway. I mean, it's, a, it's pretty tough. He's got the most health out of anything I've fought before, but still. Shouldn't be too bad. And he's a bit more powerful than other enemies. That's okay, that can just cut most of this out. Da -da, da -ba -da -ba. You and Rabin and the Hudder defeat the evil Gananana. Now the Quad Force will be safe forever. Or will it? Maybe. Sort of I rule. The get X is like high rule. You know, Zelda. <laughs> I think that's what it's referenced to anyway. It looks like it. That's actually a pretty decent weapon. Um, Pretty good water weapon for this point in the game. It actually does the same amount of damage as my said jeans. It's just a little lower. What's the start difference? Uh, 
Crit 4, luck 1, strength 1. Strength 1, crit 2. Yes, yeah, so the said G's is better for stats. I might use this for a bit. It looks cool. I think. Wait, why is that? Oh, there you go. Outfits. I might use it. It's as good as uh, Jing's there as well. Might as well. It looks kind of cool. And it's nice to get a nice new shiny weapon. Either way, this video has been very long. So, yeah. Nearly 40 minutes. I probably will be good to get out a lot of it. So, either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>